Hey everyone, it's Julie and welcome to Ignite Lower Body. So today for lower body, you are just going to need to use one weight. Just one weight, you can have a variety of different sizes, but we'll only be holding one weight at a time for each exercise. I will also be using my plyo box, but you can also use a bench, a chair, or even an aerobic step. We have a lot of step ups today, and for those of you who are maybe new to step ups and don't wanna step up very high, a low aerobic step is a great way to work up to that and build strength in your knee. So anything small to step on is great. If you have a bench, that looks great. If you have a chair, awesome, as long as it's sturdy. I recommend if you use a chair, maybe have the back of the chair up against a wall to make sure that you don't push that chair over. But we're gonna be doing lots of step ups. We're gonna be really sculpting the lower body. Are you ready to do this? We're gonna get warm and jump into this. Here we go, step touch. We're gonna get the lower body warm real quick and then we will jump into this. We have three rounds with two exercises per round. So we are gonna work. All right, so let's take this to a heel dig front. Okay, take this heel out, leave it there, lift that toe, and sit on back. We're gonna be working for reps today, so yay. We will be doing in the range of 10 to 12 reps. So I'm gonna shoot for 12 reps, but anywhere between, between 10 and 12 reps is great. So choose a weight that's somewhere in that range, you're like, okay, that's it, I'm done. So you can fail at 10 or 12 or even 11, anywhere in that range. Let's switch feet. So other heel down, toe up, sit on back. Now we will still take very short rest periods and we will go through each round three times. Yes, I know that no repeats are your favorite. I know, but sometimes we need to repeat exercises and really build the strength. So today, bear with me three times through. And come on up, let's step back. Heel towards the floor and then just lean forward. Let's get a nice stretch down the path. And let's switch. So really push that heel down and then just lean forward until you feel that stretch in the calf muscle. And come on up. Okay, what I want you to do is I want you to hinge forward Hinging at the waist, nice flat backs, just a slight bend in the knees, hold it here. Tailbone lifted towards the ceiling, so you're really feeling it down the back of the hamstrings. Now go ahead and reach for the floor, just deepen that stretch. If you can't quite reach the floor, keep your hands on your thighs. And roll it back up. All right, go ahead and take your feet out wide, toes pointed out, come on down and just put the elbows inside the knees. Opening up the inner thighs, opening up the hips, getting them ready to work. Hands to the floor, straighten those legs, and roll it on up. All right, little jog in place. Okay, so two exercises per round. We have supersets. So we'll do the first exercise, then we'll go straight into the second exercise. We'll take a quick rest, we'll do it again. Just one weight. So, we're starting with some step ups. We got a lot of step ups today, but it's gonna be great, you're gonna love it. Now the height at which you step up on, weights are determined by your bench, if you're using a chair. I have a plyo box that has a couple different heights to it. So I'm gonna use my highest height because I really wanna work those legs. You can also use a very low step though and just step up a little bit. Even that will help challenge your body, work those muscles, get that knee stronger. All right, are you ready to do this? Okay, here we go. So grab whatever it is that you want to step up on. So I have a box, but whatever you have, just make sure it's sturdy. We're gonna be holding one weight. Now what we have is 10 to 12 reps per leg. So we'll start with one leg, we'll step up, come back down. And I want you to press into the box as you lift, thinking of engaging the glutes and the hamstrings and the quads. And even if it's a low step, I want you to really think of engaging the leg. If you have no step at all, and you have nothing to step up on, then you can do leg lifts just one at a time, okay? That's your option. 
Are we ready to do this? So grab one weight that you're just gonna hold in the middle. I, you know what, I'm gonna challenge myself. I'm gonna challenge myself. Okay, so we have step ups. Right leg, then left leg. Then you're gonna turn around and we are gonna do sit squats. And what that means is you're going to squat until you touch your bench or your chair and then come back up. Okay, so you're just gonna touch, come back up. Yes, okay. If you cannot squat and that does not feel good, then go ahead and do alternating leg lifts or you could do seated leg lifts where you're on your chair or your bench and you alternate lifting your leg. Okay, those are all your options. Are you ready for this? Decide what leg you want to start with. 10 to 12 reps. Here we go. your legs. Here we go. There's 12. Okay. Ready for squats? Squats, or you can do your leg lifts. Load that weight up. Same thing, 10 to 12 reps. Here we go. stretch and you swap weights. So if you started kind of light and you feel like ah, I could probably go heavier, grab a heavier weight. If you went kind of heavy and you really struggled, maybe this would be a time to lower your weight. Catch your breath. This definitely has cardio back to it because we're working large muscle groups. So when we do that and we really challenge ourselves with legs, we're going to get that cardio effect. My heart rate is at the top of my zone too, so working hard. Okay, are ready? Let's do it again. Oh, grab that weight. Okay, make sure that your foot is secure to whatever you're stepping on in the middle and you're not gonna have your toes hanging over the end or your heel off the back. Here we go.
rest. Woo. Okay. We're just gonna go through that one more time. One more time, everyone. How are you doing? Catch your breath. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. We're strong. And if at any time you feel like you need to modify, you need to step up to something lower, you just want to go to the leg lift, close to any time you do that, this is your workout, so pay attention to your body. But don't just sit and watch. Do it with us. Okay, we're here to work together. We don't see results by watching what we're going to do. All right, let's do this. Last time through this round. Here we go. Switch those legs. Here we go. And 12. All right. Let's squat it out. Okay. Here we go. Rest. How are you? <laughs> okay. Now, take a quick breather, get a sip of water, and then go over the next round. Alright, so I'm going to change the height of my box for this next round just a tiny bit. We have a lateral step up. So we're going to step to the side of our box and step up. Really gonna focus on hitting the outside of the glutes, still the hamstrings. So we will step up one side, then we'll step up the other. Then what we're gonna have is a goblet squat. You won't need to bench back. Your feet will be a little wider than hip distance. You're gonna hold one weight, you're gonna sit down and come up. Regular squat, our feet are pointing forward. They're about hip distance. Goblet squat, a little wider than your hips. Feet out just a little bit. You're gonna sit back and come up. Squeeze up through the inner thighs, all that. If squatting is just no good for you, you're like, can't do it, my knees aren't into it, then you're gonna do a wide leg lift. You can hold the weight, you can use a resistance band, whatever you wanna do. All right, I'll put my box in the middle, so I can step up on each side of it. Now, with the side step up, if you're using a chair or a bench, whatever you've got, make sure you get that foot in the middle and then press up to lift. Okay, yes. Want to make sure we're safe. You can also do this with no weights. Just throwing that out there, body weight's great. So I'm actually going to go a little bit lighter for the side step up and keep a heavier weight for the goblet. Side step, a little bit more challenging than just a regular step. Okay, so same thing, 10 to 12 reps, whatever range you want to be in. Here we go.
is 11 for me. And 12. All right, I'm gonna switch sides. All right, here we go. Two more. Rest. Woo! Okay, take a quick breather. How's your heart rate? Mine is, I'm into my lungs breathe. How are you? Are you catching your breath? You can tell I'm a little winded. Working lower body is hard, and today's workout, I wanted to design it to be something that challenges us, but the exercises themselves were simple. I mean, they weren't complicated, there wasn't too many moving pieces to it, but challenging. Step ups to me are fantastic because they're functional, because in life we step up on things, we climb stairs, there's things we have to do, and so this to me is a very functional way to train your body. And squats are just amazing. I know not everybody loves squats, <laughs> I do know that, but they are really good <laughs> for building strength in your lower body. Okay, let's do it again, shall we? Okay, get that foot on the box, nice and secure. Here we go. I've got two more. Yes, okay, we got the goblet. Are you ready? Grab your weight. All right, toes out, sit on back.
Two more. And rest. Okay, I'm just gonna switch sides this way. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Let's just go. Here's 10. Can you give me two more? Yes. All right. We've got one more time through with the goblet. Let's do this. All right. Go for it. Five more seconds and then we'll put the weight down. And rest. Okay, set that weight down. We've got 30 seconds, single leg. So I'm just gonna cross my leg. And then we'll do 30 seconds of the other leg. In three, two, one. So drop it down, lift it up. So we're gonna focus one glute at a time. Switch legs. Here we go. And push. And push. And squeeze it to the top. Now I like to keep my hands on the floor for balance. Just to make sure that I stay balanced because it's a little different on one leg. Okay, take a quick little breather. 
Put this back on your lap. We got one more time. All right, are you ready? Here we go. And squeeze, and squeeze. Is anybody else drenched in sweat? I'm so sweaty. <laughs> Woo! Five seconds. And rest. Okay? Put that weight down. You're gonna have 30 seconds. Each leg, single. Are you ready? Three. Two, one, here we go. Squeeze it up. Squeeze it up. If you want to really press with that foot that's on the floor, you can also just have your leg lifted if that feels more comfortable. I just like to rest mine on top of the other leg. We're almost done. You got five more seconds here, and then we'll switch. And switch. Okay, it's your last 30 seconds. And hang in there with me. No giving up. You're stronger than that. And rest. Oh, come on up. I am drenched. I just want you guys to know that. Like, absolutely drenched. Okay, one last burnout. It's a wall set. Find your favorite spot. Door, wall, whatever. We're gonna burn it out here and then I promise you're done. Okay, so you're gonna bring it down. You're gonna be in a wall set, but with a bonus. Calf raises, alternating calf raises. I know, I know, I know. Okay, are you ready? Three. Two, one, here we go. Alternate, raising one heel and the other heel. And you're just holding it. Thighs are parallel to the floor. Back is against your door or your wall. Don't cheat here. Okay, so no leaning forward, none of that stuff. Keep the core engaged. Burn out the thighs. Tell me how you feel at the end of a workout. Are you feeling good? Are you tired, but still feeling good? Those endorphins are flowing through your body. You've shown up to do something good for your body. Hopefully that makes you feel good, even if you're tired. <laughs> 15 more seconds. Okay, keep the feet flat. We'll just hold it for these last 15 seconds. We're just holding it. We're breathing. We're not focusing on how much discomfort there is in the legs. We're not even thinking about that. We're thinking strong legs. We can do this. We have less than five seconds. Three, two, one. <sighs> Done. Done. Let's do a little stretch. <laughs> okay, let's do a calf stretch. So I'm going to hold onto my wall and just grab your foot, kneecap towards the floor, hip going forward, and let's stretch out the quad. We did a lot of quad work today. A lot. And as hard as step-ups are, they're really one of my favorite exercises because they are fantastic for building strength in the lower body. So great for that, and they're very functional. Let's switch, let's do the other side. But like I said, if you are kind of new to step ups or stepping up too high doesn't work for you, use a low step, that's totally fine. Just a low, you know, like the height of a curve is a great place to start, okay? We all have to start somewhere. Then as you feel stronger and more confident, you can try stepping up on something a little higher and a little higher and work your way into it, okay? It's a process and a journey. We don't all start at the same point. We don't get to the same point at the same time. Work in your journey and within your body. That's all you need to worry about. 
and okay we're gonna do a little stretch here where we step, that we did in the beginning step back go to the floor lean forward I just have sweat pouring all over my body and my heels Woo! and my legs are shaky just a little bit I just feel a little bitty shake in them I switch legs Together. One last stretch. We're going to do a little hamstring stretch just like we did before. In the beginning, forward fold. Hold it here. Stretch out those hamstrings. If you want to reach towards the floor, do that. Just stretch them out. Elongate them. And then bend those knees and roll it to the top. You made it. You survived. Hope you're sweaty with me. Remember, friends, sometimes we got to push through those things that are hard. It's easy to give up and say, eh, I don't want to push that hard, but you will feel so good when you push through something you didn't think you could do and you can do it. So thank you for joining me. I hope that you feel good and alive. Go fuel your body and rehydrate, and I'll see you in the next workout. Bye.